I'm Jay Field with Dash One Charters, fishing up here in the San Juan Islands today. Hey, here's a handy little tip when you're cutting bait. Put a piece of tuna cord or parachute cord on your bait board. When it gets dirty, throw in the water. Let her drag behind the boat a little bit. Don't let it get in the kicker, but uh, keep her clean. I'm gonna cut a bait today. There's tons of way to cut bait. Uh, for you guys having trouble getting a little tight spin on your bait, uh, you might try this. And, and you know, the, the tighter the spin on the bait, uh, the faster you control without blowing your bait out. You can run gear on one side, run a bait on the other. You know, the old Westport way of cutting bait, 45-45, that might work for mooching, but I like a, a little less severe angle on my bait, and it's more about the hook placement than the angle of the cut. All right, so come back here. A little less severe angle, as I mentioned. Use the back of your knife. Then go ahead and take your mooching leader. I've got, oh, probably about three inches between the hooks. Put it down through here like that. Up next to the backbone, not too deep. Make sure the point exits and you don't have a scale stuck to the point of that. I like to come back right behind the dorsal fin here, right under the backbone through and this hang back trailing hook acts like a keel and it'll uh, increase the spin on your bait and keep your bait from blowing out. Now if you really want to, if you're having some trouble, try this. If you cut the bottom end of the tail off, You get less water resistance, a more aer aerodynamic or hydrodynamic shape, and sometimes that'll increase the speed and uh, the tight spin of your bait. So anyways, like I said, that's just one way I do it. This might help you to uh, cut a nicer bait. One thing I want to say is, if you put a bait down and you don't like the way it looks, don't fish it. Cut another one.